Here we go with an interesting new arrival. This time, also from China, newly surfaced pen that heavily resembles Pilot Custom Roshi. Of course, this is the actual Pilot Custom Roshi that comes from Japan. Not to be mistaken with the Pilot Custom 845 Roshi. And then we have our Furushi, which is fake Urushi. Fake pilot. The resemblance it has is these three stars. You can find them on the custom Urushi, but they're filled with some kind of black lacquer. The finials look similar. The clips look very similar, but there's no markings on the clip. And also the cap ring on the generic pilot custom already has no inscriptions well in the actual one it says pilot custom Arushi. and then everything is filled with some kind of black lacquer the other difference i can see right away is the color it's a little bit more bright in the imitation pen the other very very noticeable difference that i can see is actually the weight this weighs at least twice as much as the Ebonite Custom Roshi. So we'll see what's inside. The grip section seems to be a good imitation too. Seems like they did a good job at, at imitating that. But it ends where the business end begins, the imitation ends. I don't know what kind of nip this is, but look at the actual custom Arushi. There's a number 30 proprietary pilot numbering, of course. There's a number 30 nib. It's one of the most beautiful nibs out there. And the riding experience on this pilot custom Arushi is pretty much unrivaled. You can say that the Pelican M1000 comes close. This seems to be, I don't know what kind of nib this is, to be honest. It does look like one of those Bach nibs that I've seen on Asfine P36, but I can't be sure. Okay, so it seems like a general Jinhao converter. Of course, it's not branded as Jinhao or anything else. So, what should I ink this today with? We're gonna do my favorite, Mont Blanc. Midnight Blue. There's nothing blue about that ink, really. All right, here we go. Violet. Which stands for? So that body by the witness. Seems to be a fine size. It's marked it marked as a number one. I don't know what that means, but it seems like a number six nib. This very heavy pen. Line variation. Minimal, but you know, it's complete not completely absent. The feed. That's doing a good job. How many turns does it take? One, two, two complete turns and that's it. So what do I think about this? It is almost a one-to-one -one imitation of the Pilot Customer Rushi minus, minus the markings. Of course, it does not claim to be Pilot Customer Rushi, but of course, 
it's 100% imitation. Do a very good job at imitating the custom Roshi. The thickness seems to be exactly the same. And in fact, if we look closely at that, the seams that you get from acrylic are visible on the actual Pilot Custom Roshi. It's right here. Whereas in the in the uh, imitation Custom Roshi, it's not there. I imagine that's because this is made of, made of brass and not acrylic. This is a super heavy pen. It is not for everybody. So what are my impressions? Is that from distance, this looks like the Pilot Custom Roshi. If you want to get an overall size comparison to feel the size of Pilot Custom Roshi, you can pick this up and take a look. The feel of the pen is not anywhere near the Pilot Custom Roshi because the Pilot is made of ebonite and it's very light and it's, it looks deceivingly heavy from distance but once you pick it up it's you know very easy to handle. The grip section is very nice and overall I would say this is one of my top three pens in my large conduct uh, in my modest it's one of the top three pens in my modest collection which includes several Mont Blancs, the Mickey Emperor and many many Pelicans. I would rank this on top three for sure. Uh, as for the imitation pen this is only good for the looks as far as I'm concerned. The writing experience is okay. It's not scratchy. It actually writes as well as any of the Jin Hao's pretty much. It looks, writes like a typical Jin Hao. Um, X159 or one of newer 9019's. I guess the Chinese have finally figured out the nib tuning and they've done a very good job. Not only on these pens that they pump out, but also if you look at these some of these nibs that you can buy off eBay or Amazon, the Kai Glue, for example. If you put those Kai Glue nibs on any of those other pens, they work marvelously. They have these nibs that look kind of like Naginata Tugi from the Sailor. They work so well. They're, they, they're not the same, of course, but the experience they give you is at least like 80% there compared to the Naginata. So this Chinese manufacturer are getting there in terms of the quality of the nib tuning. The problem is that this is imitating a really awesome writing instrument, you know. It's not just the prestige behind this. Once, if you take this pen and start writing with it, you'll know why everyone that has had it and worked with it likes it so much. With the imitation, not as much because, first of all, the nib is tiny. This is, this looks good until you open it. That looks kind of weird and weirdly small. It's kind of like even on the pictures when they show it, you can tell that you know that's not a good imitation. If they were to imitate the custom Urushi, they should have imitated the nib if they are serious about it, because that is the business end of the pen, really. So they've gotten the aesthetic from distance, correct? But the weight is at least double the Pilot Custom Arushi, so that's a big deterrent. And the nib is really, really trashy looking. When you write with it, it's, it writes great. I have no complaints about that. But you cannot use this for daily writing. It is too large to carry in your pocket. I would recommend this if you just want to have a visual of what the Pilot Custom Arushi looks like and you don't want to commit to it. Outside of that, the answer is no. I would not recommend this as a pen to write with day to day. It is very heavy, not really practical to take anywhere with you and write with. It's a good party trick, I guess. It looks good from distance for someone who has not dealt with an actual custom Roshi. So that would be my recommendation. In all other cases, I would say avoid this. this is, even though it's only around a $20 pen, at around that price range, you can do a lot better than the Origin How 9019s are excellent, excellent writers, and they don't heavily imitate one pen or the other. It seems like there's a little bit of uniqueness in them, and they write as well or better than this pen. I don't want to knock the writing experience of this pen in terms of the smoothness of the, the nib, because it writes very smoothly, but put together with the heaviness of the pen, the weight of it, and the overall feel of the pen and the cap, makes it really not not a practical pen 
So there you go. I hope this helps somebody before you jump the gun and get one of these from AliExpress. Please do send me a message if you have any questions or if you want to spend. I'll see you in the next one.